angler fish, it's not pretty. In fact, it's basically a living nightmare with really crazy teeth. Something funny happened when humans started studying anglerfish. Back in the 1800s, they were trying to figure out what they were, and they realized that all of their specimens were female. They didn't even have any idea of what a male anglerfish looked like, not to mention how it survived or lived. In 1922, things shifted. They noticed that these weird little fish were attached to the female angler's body. At the time, they thought maybe the smaller fish were some sort of mother-offspring arrangement. In other words, they thought it was the female anglerfish's kid. Two years later, another researcher decided to dissect these fish. He realized that it wasn't the female anglerfish's kid at all, it was her mate. Side note, I like to imagine that his response to this discovery was, ew. That's why it was so hard to find male anglerfish. They didn't look like the female fish. They don't have the big mouths or lures or teeth because they don't hunt at all. Instead, they latch themselves onto the female anglerfish and rely on her for all of their nutrition like a parasite. As soon as the male attaches to a female, all of its body parts it no longer needs wither away. It takes food from her, and when he's needed, he provides the sperm when she's ready to have baby anglerfish. This is called parasitic mating. Now, as a human, this looks to be pretty much the grossest, creepiest thing imaginable, not to mention a total cramp on the lady anglerfish's style. But thankfully for them, the arrangement seems to work just fine. And it's not all anglerfish that do this. It seems to be mainly the deep sea fish that do, probably because it's so hard to find a mate in that big dark ocean. If you like learning about gross things like parasitic mating or weird animals, subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment below.